Hi there. Uh, my name is Keith Thomas, and I'm a uh, primary junior teacher candidate here at UOIT, and this is my vlog numero uno. So reflective practice, in my opinion, you know, it's still very much a new concept to me. Um, don't know too much about it, but I can take a stab at it. And, and you know, and what I would perceive it as is uh, someone who is constantly reflecting throughout their teaching practice and um, just looking back at um, different parts of their lessons, um, different parts of, I guess, at the end of the school year, just seeing uh, where their progress has have been made and based on student grades, and you can see the progression of your students. So I think that's what reflective practice uh, at least means to me, uh, just better yourself as an educator. So uh, who I am as a reflective uh, practitioner, um, I think uh, instinctively um, as a teacher I'm, I'm constantly reflecting um, whether that is uh, during lesson um, as you're going throughout the lesson you can see different points of you know, a moment to look back and see uh, what's working what's not working and maybe make um, adjustments along the way or if um, uh, to the lesson or if it's not working at all and then you just see that the kids aren't getting it or uh, you may be going too far ahead of your time you know um, you're going too far ahead you can kind of pause and maybe leave it and come back for another day and just switch transition to something another kind of subject and then come back to it later on um, after you made some adjustments to your lesson plans or um, or just uh, maybe just take another view point or um, address the topic in a different way. So that's like reflecting during the lesson, in my opinion. And then there's always um, that, like as me as a teacher, um, in our UOIT uh, lesson plan templates, um, the final part of finishing our lesson plans is this little reflective uh, reflection uh, question part at the end of the, of the lesson plan, which asks different uh, reflective questions, you can say, that we're required to, to uh, complete and um, that gives you an opportunity to look back and be like, okay, what worked? What didn't I like? What could I have done better? You know, that's a good opportunity that, that I like. Um, and maybe, hopefully, as a teacher, I still keep on doing lesson plans. You know, I still keep those um, reflective questions to answer later on in the lesson. Uh, it's really good to, to take that, that moment and, uh, and reflect upon yourself. Um, so I'm really, I'm really excited. For this course, um, I'm not sure what to expect, but um, I can say that uh, it's like a personal learning goal is to to learn about more about like reflective practice. Uh, I guess the research behind it, um, and maybe seeing the value of of, of uh, reflection, uh, especially with regards to um, teaching. Uh, it's over here. <laughs> Um, but uh, maybe just learn about more strategies on how to implement, you know, or become a reflective practitioner. Um, and maybe just um, including it in my pedagogy, right? And maybe um, learning, like in the grander scope of, of a teacher, maybe um, um, being a, a coach in the school or being a, um, a mentor to students, you know, including that part of, of effective practice into not just the classroom, but um, those extracurricular um, activities that I'll be, uh, that I hope to pursue. Uh, maybe I can use that in those moments and uh, make me a better, you know, coach or, you know, whatnot. And um, yeah, and, you know, anything to improve myself as a teacher is valuable. And if this is going to help me and make me even 1% better, why not? Why not? And um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to it. And uh, uh, you know, throughout as I do more vlogs, you know, you'll see the progression. Hopefully, I can look back at myself and from where I started right now. And uh, should be good. Thank you for listening, and uh, take care.